Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Stay Night Heaven's Field Movie 2 and this is called Lost Butterfly. Alright, um, I've seen the first movie and as I said, like as from the title you guys can guess, like I've played the visual novel. I said that already in the previous uh, video I have. If you have still not watched that, uh, it's on my channel. You can find it in the playlist. So yeah, anyways, so... Uh, one thing I'm going to say here in the post reaction discussion, um, I'm going to like go into spoiler territory. Okay, so if you have not watched the third movie, I would like advise you to keep away from the like post discussion section where I'll discuss about the movie because there will be spoilers. And I'm sure most of you guys must have seen the third movie uh if i've seen it like you're free to like and you don't like you know like you don't care about spoilers you can definitely go check out my post discussion section because like in the previous episode i tried to keep myself from like saying spoilers by but i couldn't so like yeah like this is just a like kind of a little thing that i'm going to say to you guys before there will be spoilers in the discussion portion so yeah just keep that in mind so, all right, the first episode, uh, not episode, the first movie, um, it was like a lot of things I, I kind of forgot from the visual novel because, because it has been quite a while. So like, you know, I, my memory got refreshed and all. And I, the second movie, I can remember a few things, small little things that are going to happen, but that's just it. The, uh, like the things that are going to happen before and after that, the, uh, main details is hazy in my mind I cannot really remember so it will be kind of like a new like experience and obviously the beautiful animation the beautiful soundtrack that will be all new to me so I'm quite looking forward to this uh, movie uh, the second movie so yeah let's let's see let's get started with this and um, yeah that's just it let's get started without wasting much time because it's like already a long movie so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go all right Okay, let's see. Whoa. Oh yeah, this is that part. We saw kind of saw this in the previous movie. Oh boy. Yep, she is she has to oh there she is oh boy that's that's saber altar oh no that's saber wait what didn't he get alterified didn't she get alterified Oh, oh, is, is she going to get transformed now? Yeah, she is, she is getting all terrified. Yeah, oh boy. Oh. Okay, well, uh, yep, okay, hmm, um, oh, God. <laughs> 
Oh god. I think he, he's dreaming, isn't he? Yeah. I was kind of thinking, like, he must be dreaming. Because in the previous movie, we saw him going back to Sakura. Okay, well... The links have collapsed, yep. Ah, uh, she said that, like Sable left. Actually, mm. oh boy, oh boy, I might go out more often now. Well, Sakura. I'm trying my best not to spoil this scene, like... <laughs> you know? Okay. Wow. Well, Shiro's, uh, like, Shiro's, like, you know? sense of justice is as everyone knows is a bit a, a bit like you know elevated so yeah he, he won't stop like this won't stop him now he'll like go alone and a pretty damn amazing thing is going to happen to shiro i'm not like going to say anything uh, i can kind of remember bits and pieces from the novel so I really love that. That's like the main thing that made me attracted to this, like, you know, to the heavens feel root. Plain clothes at Fuyuki on ramp, okay. Ah, look at the world, so peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> and at night, what the, like, you know, a whole war is happening. Not only at night, like, all the time. Okay. Damn, that was a transition. Oh, I remember another thing. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, what the who? Who the hell? Oh, Ilya. <laughs> I think who is throwing snowballs? Okay. <laughs> hmm. Yes, Shiro is Shiro. Just like archers are made of art. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh.
<laughs> that was an accident? Okay. <laughs> well, she knows about that. Hmm. Should feel honored. Ah, okay. Well, about that. And uh. Hmm. Well, she's gone. Oh, those are gone. Such a big house. Archa can you make tea? <laughs> Archer doesn't want to make tea for M, yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> what? Oh, this is, yeah, Sakura's house. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I remember the background. Just a sec, guys. Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, I'll try my best to sync the timer. You know, like I had to go out for something. All right, let's see. Um, oh God. <sighs> okay, well. <laughs> the noise. Ugh. Oh God. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what happened? I can't remember this portion. Oh, God damn. <laughs> this garbage. This guy deserves no mercy, like, like, really. Oh. 
Okay, well, Rin is there, but where is she? Oh, God. Well, she's a servant, so... Okay. Come on, sure, use a trace on your like, reinforcement of whatever. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, God. You won't. Okay. Okay. He f she flung him towards yeah Shinji come on punch him punch him across the face this guy really annoys me oh, God like the, this anime really succeeded in making a piece of garbage like of a character that is Shinji. Like hats off, like that you can make a character who is so hateable. <laughs> Wait, you didn't know that, Shinji? Huh? You don't want to cry? Shut up! Hey, there he is! There they are! Come on! Oh, Sakura has a... I did not notice that. Well, um, Archer is definitely stronger than Ryder. And... Like Shinji is controlling Ryder now, so obviously it'll be even more. Like, this guy is such a failure of a person that he cannot even, like, fully control his servant. God. Shut up. I can't say anything because of... Come on, go, go, go. Smack him across the face. Another one. Thank you, Sakura. Yeah, there you go. Like, this... Yep. Well, obviously that's going to happen because, you know, like Sakura is the actual master and this little worm, Shinji, was unable to control her properly. That's why, like, Ryder wasn't able to use her full strength because Shinji is such a... Oh god. Shut up Shinji, go home. You're, you also fall in that category.
<laughs> yeah. Sakura. <laughs> yep. What's with her um, earring? I, I, that's a gem. What gem, isn't it? Yeah. Shinji, no one's talking about you. <laughs> Go home, Shinji. No one cares. <laughs> They're looking. Oh, God. Go to hell, Shinji. Yeah. You know, I could have felt bad for him, but he's such a piece of garbage that I cannot feel bad for him. This Shinji. I, I, I don't feel bad for him, you know? Like... Shut up, Shinji. <coughs> what is that? Oh! Wait, what is that? I don't remember this portion. Wait, what? Oh, this is a... Okay, I can remember now. God damn this guy. Yeah. Oh God! Damn. <sighs> okay, well, yeah. Well, Ryder will be strong. Girl, now. <laughs> oh no, she, she's opening. Oh no, okay. Well, there you go, the mystic eyes. Yep.
Yeah, oh god. Well, I'm sure everyone will understand who she is now, her real name. Yep. Oh, oh, oh no. E Oh. Well, Shiro will be okay. She, he has something in him which will regenerate him. Oh God. Okay, well, fuck. <laughs> uh. is here. Oh, the rin is also here. And there he is. Ha, <laughs> yes. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Yup, okay, well, here we are. <sighs> oh, God. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's your reason to fight. Kire is a sly person. <laughs> he took the right opportunity to bring this up. Come on, Rin. <clears throat> Even if... Yep. Yeah, and there you go. <sighs> yeah. Yeah.
strangers. And she's gone. Well, wait, did you find something? Oh, the key. Oh, God. Second time. Yeah, what will you do? Oh! Oh god, well, um... Um, Ilya? Yeah, he's not any monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, she did. Okay. Okay, there she is. Okay, who is this? Oh, it's Shiro. How did he find her? Against the census, okay.
Yeah. True. That's not kind. That's partially the truth, but you know. What? Okay. Yeah. Continue to forgive you. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> well, there you go. Trend, wow. Hero of justice. Just for you. Okay, Rin. Well, Rin, I think you need to reconsider your decisions.
Uh, if you're going to choose a different path. I'm going to talk about one thing like why you know Archer does not like you know try to kill Shiro in like in this movie unlike in Heavens uh, like Unlimited Blade Works I'm going to talk about this in the post discussion section um, I'm guessing the the what do you call that that yeah well okay uh... <sighs> he was going to say something else but you know her past still haunts her. Oh, Tom. <laughs> well, <sighs> okay, well Sesame. <clears throat> Damn, that looks good. <laughs> okay. Where's Tiger? Oh, Ryder is here. <laughs> that, that's because that's Saber. Yeah, for the whole... Yeah, that's the question. Like... Um, Ilya, Rin, and... Ilya Yep Yep 
Yep. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> because in the morning there will be no fighting. So, you know. Oh. <laughs> okay. Damn. The faith. Mm, the mono deficiency. Okay, well. <sighs> the atmosphere they like in this movie especially is so fitting and here we go our yandrish tendencies Oh, oh. <laughs> God, that's some horror stuff. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, shit. Wait, is he going towards? Yeah, the Eisenberg mansion. Yeah, those are there are those like things. Like Eisenberg Magecraft. What the? What happened? Oh no. Wait. Who struck it down? What the? What is that? Oh no, is it? Are they having a battle? Yeah, oh my god, Zoken's here. Okay, well... This <laughs> that's an assassin. Oh my god, what the?
god imagine having like <laughs> yeah Yeah, to to reach the root, you know, the root of all. Well. And here, okay, well. And yeah, okay, there you go. Saber altar. God damn. This will be tough, really tough. Yes. Saber Altar is something completely different. I'm sure Berserker will also be, yeah. Okay, there you go. God. Ooh! Oh, Tosaka is here as well. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah, this will be tough. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh! Damn, like flinging a b berserker like that. Yeah, this will be tough. This will be tough. Okay. And there goes one life. 11 more, I think. Isn't it? You're mistaken. Yeah, he'll come back. 11 more times, I think. God. Oof. Thank God. Well, okay. Well, God damn, assassin, like. <laughs> He was waiting for that opportunity, Assassin. Well. God damn. Woo! Well, there you go, Archer uses bow and arrow. <laughs> There's a proof. Well, he's a sick.
Damn. Yeah, like, oh my god. Okay, she is looking this way. Yeah, she's targeting my Ilya, so. Okay. Oh! Damn, this. <laughs> wow. Oh, God damn. Uh. Oh. Wait, what number of life is this? And there you go. Two. Oh. No. Saber Alter is too overpowered. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Damn! God. My God. And again. Oh, crack, crack. But it's no use. Oh. Oh no. His noble, noble phantasm. Ah. <sighs> Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. This this is amazing. I'm so glad UFO table animates fate. And is he going to come back? How did he already lose all of his health like all of his lives? Oh! Oh, okay. And there you go. Wait! 
Emir did not recognize who that who that was. Oh, I thought he recognized her. Oh yeah, obviously, like. Is that really the end of Berserker? Like all the 12 like, lives, did he lose everyone? Oh well. All the... Oh my god, Assassin is behind them. Where is uh, Archer? Like... Okay. Thank God, right? I was thinking, where was he? Yeah. Oh. God. Run. There's a reason why Archer is so cooperative in this route. Oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Yep, there goes your eyes. And he runs away. Oh no. Oh! Oh God! Okay. Yeah. Oh Lord. God damn! This thing. Oh God. Ah, there you go. Unlimited blade works. Oh, he's using raw eyes. Okay, yeah, obviously, like he needs a shield now. Damn. Ah. Oh. Oh. 
Oh Gott. Ja. Yeah. Ja. Und das ist, was passiert. Das war Jane Shiro's whole thing. Das ist komplett verändert. Ja, da geht's. Oh. Oh. Ja. There you go. Your new arm, Shiro. Yeah, she'll stay. There's also like, okay, I'll talk about it later on. Yeah, it will start. Seal. Yes. Yeah, she knew him. Same place. Rin was downstairs and Sakura was upstairs. Oh, Sakura did not know that. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, obviously she was upstairs. This really shows how similar Sakura and Rin are, you know? <laughs> yeah.
not now. No, Shiro. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Oh. Damn. Oh my God. That 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 must have hurt. Ugh. Like psychologically. Like only a little. Nudge at that cloth. Hmm. Right up. Hmm. Yeah. Oh boy, well... Yeah, okay, here we go. No. <laughs> you do not realize. Okay. Well, Okay, so they adapted this part. I was not expecting that because in the Unlimited Blade Works, they did not do that. The Vision Novel had this part, but they kind of 
cut that portion out from the unlimited blade works for the rinse root but i'm guessing like not including this especially in this root will really be like it will be kind of incomplete because this root kind of revolves around this thing okay i'm going to talk about this later on oh god damn okay well <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> Both of them are here. <laughs> okay, yeah. Whereabouts of good and evil? Okay. Can Rin really do that? Like What? Oh, call call him. Yeah, yeah. Call her by. Call her by. She did not notice that at first. Okay. What? What? <clears throat> okay. What? What a treasure box that he left. Yeah, she just saw her, like, you know. They were unable to, like, confront each other with that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Just like that day, you know, when he was like jumping the... There it is, the projection. Hot damn boy. I have to tolerate him again. Great. Oh. Damn. Multiple corpses. Oh. Well, about that, there's a bigger picture behind that. <laughs> oh! Okay, yeah. There. Damn, this is so beautiful. Damn, look at that. Look. <laughs> oh no. Those are some evil bunnies. Oh, what the? Damn. Oh, candies. Wow. Oh no, they're in danger. Run. Run. <laughs>
Yeah. Uh, there's a big implication. <laughs> yep, there you go. Behind that. Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> the whole magical place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. So that was what Gilgamesh said at that moment in the previous movie. I kind of forgot about that. I remember this portion, but that portion I don't remember. Oh God. Oh. Yes, Nani indeed. Be careful, Gilgamesh. God. That's freaky. Zashu How dare you Zashu <laughs> Just a Zashu <laughs> Oh my god oh. Yep, there you go <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Gilgamesh is startled. Whoa. 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 Gosh, damn. <laughs> well, there you go. The actual person behind the murders. God. Sakura is thinking that this is just a happy dream, you know? Like him, her, like, like, you know, dancing around in the dream world with teddy bears and everything, eating candies, where in actuality, that's not candy, that's someone's finger. Yeah, well. Yep, she's gone. And she doesn't even realize that. There you go. There you go. She's sleeping, sleeping. And there's no need, she's just sleeping. Oh boy. And that thing is here. Don't notice, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, God, sixty victims. Yeah. 
కనెక్టెడ్ టు లెడ్ God damn well she'll he'll still be Sakura's ally. That's what he said and decided. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, Tiger's back. Yeah. Everyone else is here. Oh, Ilya doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Damn. Oh God. Hmm. 
yeah you are not uh, like, as he's saying like are you going to betray the past you the past him was being as you know like the savior of justice but now things are different he is trying to save sakura where sakura is actually the one who is endangering everyone so that means as he's saying that are you going to betray your past self oh my god who is this oh god zoken's calling him all right What? Favor? No, technically not. Yes. Yep. Kill the gate. Hmm, okay. Yeah, obviously, that's pretty apparent. Fuyuki disaster. Ah. Four days. Oh God. Shut up, Soken. <laughs> oh God, great. That's like amazing news. This is what it is, like, you know, being a, yeah, being a hero of justice. Oh my god, like, you... This is also the reason why Archer cooperated. I'm going to talk about this after the movie ends. <sighs> like, being a hero of justice and just being a hero for a single person.
cherry blossom bean party <laughs> sakura going to a sakura viewing He cannot do it. He cannot become a hero of justice because the like, personal feelings are being entangled now, you know. It's difficult to do that. Yes, he has to. No other choice. His ideals, the things that he have always like, you know, thought about and always. Yep, there you go. She's going to transfer it to... <sighs> but before that, there's... Before that, you have another job. Got. Oh my god, this scene. Oh great. Ah, oh, I can't remember. Oh my god. This is what I was saying, Sakura, your other job. Ah. Oh. He's a f 
God damn. I I hate him from the core of my being. This guy is so freaking annoying. I my No Sakura, you have a job to do. Please complete it. Complete the job, please. No. No. <sighs> Come on, complete the job. <sighs> God. God damn it. Ugh. Please kill him quickly, I, I don't really... Come on, Sakura. Sakura. Thank you. Yeah, I, I agree. Thank you. <sighs> Thank God I will not have to see his face again in the next uh, movie. Thank God. And there you go. There's the transformation. Whoa. Damn, what is this? They're having a dance. Oh my god, there's this one who is not in Oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh, what's what's up? What's upwards? Ugh. And here we go. Oh god, wow. God damn. You know what I'm really glad about this movie? That I do not have to see Shinji's face again in the next movie. That's the most grateful thing. For this movie, like...
like how can you make a character so annoying so irritating and so vile like shinji is a prime example of like that like shinji is a prime example of like how much can you make a character like someone hate a character like you know like the first one is obviously like like you know show tucker from film uh, film metal alchemist brotherhood and there are a few others as well um the main character from school days that's another filth like that guy i, I forgot his name his name is makoto or something i cannot remember that's another filth of the anime like you know world and this guy shinji shinji is another filth like i said this before but i could have felt sorry for him but no i cannot and i will not never i know that his like past is also kind of like you know something like he was not brought up well by his like guardians or whatever you call like zoken like by his grandfather but like that does not give you a like you know permit to do whatever the hell you want to so yeah i don't feel for shinji uh, sorry for shinji and i hate him that's basically it like i i usually do not use this word especially towards anime character this hate word but there are a few exceptions and shinji is one of those so yeah thank god thank god i will not have to tolerate his like you know his character in the next movie Ugh. and i don't think no redemption arc will be able to like you know change shinji's character like never ever will i be able to tolerate or forgive this shinji this fake stain and shinji yeah like i was ready for this because i played the novel but i'm sure a lot of people who saw the movie for the first time this uh, movie movie 2 was a constant surprise for them a lot of things i knew everything like i played the novel and as i said like even though if i forgot each and every detail of it i remember the main points so yeah and i have to say one thing i have to praise this movie for like being able to animate it so beautifully obviously this ufo table like ufo uh, table will deliver and they delivered and also like especially the middle portion where the whole berserker fight that was amazing i have to say like that was really something and another thing i'm really grateful is ufo table animates fate and like Imer is like the main like singer who songs most of the song from Fate. Like Imer and like UFO Table, like the best of the best. They are related to this uh, like you know franchise. I'm extremely glad for that as I'm such a big fanboy of the whole Fate franchise. Like this is one thing that I'm really grateful about. Extremely grateful. Like you know, yeah okay that was something is there something else oh preview okay no i will not watch that okay <laughs> even though i know what's going to happen because i played the novel but you know um okay so now here's the warning spoiler spoiler if you have not watched the next movie spoiler do not go beyond this point <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to talk about this now. Um, now, first of all, the one thing that I really wanted to discuss about is the reason why, uh, like, you know, um, what's his name, Archer or Emiya, like why he is so cooperative in this movie. Like, if you guys remember, in, in Fate Root, that is in Saber's Root, and in the Unlimited Blade Works Root, that is Rin's Root, um, especially in Unlimited Blade Works, um emia or like archer was like hell-bent on killing shiro so the reason why 
he changed in this route like i'm sure most of you can understand the reason the reason is that in this route shiro is not going towards his original path his original path was to become a hero of justice a savior of everyone you know like the person who gives hope to everyone the savior of justice that that type of a person which archer like extremely like, disagreed upon like that was the reason that's the main uh, motivation of archers to come back in time and kill emia uh, or shiro uh, before he reaches that point so that like you know like he can stop himself from getting this kind of uh uh like moral what can i say like uh, you know like for going towards this moral direction the moral direction of like i'll be the savior of the world and in that process him himself getting like you know like suffering so much like that is the one thing that he wanted to change he wanted to change the naivety of the young shiro or young emia and he wanted to change um like his naive ideals that's the main motivation of emia to come from the like you know like like not come from the future to kill like shiro now in this route like emia recognizes how that is changing you know how shiro's goals are actually changing which is also uh, kind of uh, mentioned in the later part of the movie where shiro says like shiro's his like ask himself will you be able to betray your past self his past self being that person who ideal like had an ideal who like worshiped kiritsugu and wanted to become a hero of justice and that like past self if he is going to save sakura he cannot do that he cannot become a savior of justice he will have to betray his past self that's why like in that little like uh, dream sequence he sees himself like killing sakura with that white hair you know that is like that white haired uh, shiro is the like transformation of shiro into the like hero of justice route that is uh, emi or archer's route archer's not route archer's path like it was him like transforming into that so he was seeing himself if he became a hero of justice he'll have to stand there and kill sakura which is completely different from what he thought what he is thinking his thought process is i will need to save sakura which means that as sakura said that will you be able to be by my side and rider also said will you be able to be by my side if i like do something extremely wrong if like if the whole world is even my enemy will you be by be my side and like shiro said yes i will be which means like shiro will also be kind of an enemy of the whole world uh which is completely different from the actual path of his that is the hero of justice path so that's why like emia recognized that or shiro uh, not shiro sorry or archer recognized that and he cooperated here because he saw he saw his past change in front of him and this like you know this path or this route is a lot more what can i say um acceptable to archer than his previous path of becoming a hero of justice because like this path is like him only kind of like focusing on a single person become a hero of justice for that person not for the whole world for becoming the hero of justice of the whole world is naivety in uh, archer's eyes that is like the extreme um like you know pinnacle of naivety for be- to become the hero of justice of the whole world so when he saw that like that is not happening you know he is going towards a different path he decided to cooperate otherwise he would have killed him in this uh, like you know uh, tried to kill him in this path as well in this route as well and that's why like he chopped off his hand and uh, like you know um, attached it to shiro and obviously like uh like people who are watching this for the first time won't understand like you know why like uh, archer chopped off his hand you know and attached it to shiro but you know like everyone knows why that is because emia is archer and uh, like shiro is archer like you know in the future and all so yeah and <clears throat> this is the thing that like is like the main uh, difference of shiro from unlimited blade works and shiro from fate and shiro in the heaven fields uh, heaven's field route like this is the main uh, difference here like shiro becomes 
a hero for a single person in this route and that is sakura um now that's why like you know i kind of mentioned this before even though i love rin so much like uh, even though because rin was you know in unlimited blade works i love that route so much because rin was the main heroine but i prefer the story of heaven's field more than the unlimited blade works because of the like you know because the story is so good here like in the last movie more amazing things are going to happen uh, i can kind of like remember what's going to happen like you know bits and pieces of it which is so damn am amazing i'm going to like talk about that in the next movie in the discussion portion of the next movie so yeah um <clears throat> And yeah, as I was saying, so that's why I like prefer the story of Heaven's Field, but I prefer like Rin as a main heroine a lot more. That's why I I love Unlimited Blade Works as well, you know. So like no one will able to take you know <laughs> the position of Rin at least in my like you know in my heart. <laughs> like Rin is the ultimate. Um, yeah. It, it, that doesn't mean that I don't like Sakura. Sakura is fine. Sakura is like a, an extremely tragic character and everything. And but I still love Rin so much. Like, you know. But yeah. So yeah, the, this movie um is quite as like a lot of things happen. Which, as I said, like a lot of people, if he or she watched this movie for the first time and have not played the novel or even if like he or she has not played the, uh, seen the unlimited blade works anime uh, they'll be uh, you know extremely uh, confused at this because of a lot of things the first thing that they showed here is like that thing that grail like the contents of the grail that thing with like you know weird thing the uh, weird like uh, striped red like red and black striped thing um that thing what that actually was like i kind of like knew about it obviously as i've played the novel and um like uh like i'm sure a lot of people uh, like you know like the surprise factor was a lot less here at least for me because like i know the main portions of everything but i was really impressed by a lot of things in this uh, movie okay so as i was saying so when sakura you know sleeps uh, she starts seeing this kind of weird like you know Madoka Magica type of movie sequence uh, like you know dream sequences <laughs> where there's like this kind of uh, like magical country a magical castle her like falling down rabbits like you know little rabbits running around and her like dancing and singing and then the like he's she's in front of her in, in a room where there's like this kind of like whatever teddy like bears or something and they're like da dancing and he she pops them <laughs> like this pop she pops them and candies are like you know coming out of that and he takes the candy and eats it whereas whereas in reality that's actually completely different as she goes around the night like you know fuyuki at night and uh, going around uh, looking at victims looking at human beings popping them just like he popped uh, she popped <laughs> those teddy bears in her dreams and like you know kind of taking apart their body parts fingers and everything and popping it inside her mouth and chewing it like the candy that she was chewing in her dream sequence that was basically it like <laughs> this is like a complete like <laughs> my god the way they made this okay well that and um, one thing i kind of like forgot about this whole thing is like gilgamesh like gilgamesh uh, him like said something he said something in the first uh, movie i was really unable to re like remember what that actually was because as i said like i have forgot a lot of things and uh, this movie kind of cleared that up she was he was warning her like sakura has been doing things for quite a while uh, it was a little bit less before but now it's like you know increasing and increasing so gilgamesh like warned her about that at that moment and in a way sakura knew what she's doing she was just like you know unconsciously not uh, recognizing the thing that she is doing but anyways and gilgamesh like knew about that and he came here and you know like um like tried to like kill sakura but unfortunately sakura is um something completely different in this route so he completely wiped off gilgamesh now one thing that i really cannot remember is that is this the end of gilgamesh in this route or does gil is gilgamesh still alive i really cannot remember that 
like uh, from the novel it's been a long time but i really cannot like we kind of saw like gilgamesh getting disintegrated completely in the end i think now i really cannot remember is this really the end of gilgamesh in this route or is he somehow alive and we're going to see him later on because in like you know like in unlimited blade works uh there's this, like gilgamesh uh was like the main antagonist here and fate like you know in the fate route that is saber's route he was also kind of the antagonist now uh this is what i really love about this movie like i said this before as well the people who were the antagonists kind of switch out here like you know and the people who are the allies they kind of become the antagonists now um again as i said like this will be like spoilers for the next movie and as far as i can remember um <clears throat> in the previous movies like kire and who was that um gilgamesh and all of them like they were like main antagonists you know and um <laughs> sakura and they were like kind of allies and everything saber was also an ally <laughs> this movie in the next movie as far as i can remember this completely changes like kirei becomes a big ally later on i, I cannot remember but i i can i can like like you know like memory is kind of coming back he plays a big role in the next part of the movie and you know like sakura becomes one of the like uh biggest antagonists in this like you know route so this is another thing that really like impressed me about this route and another thing that is going to happen is like how shiro is going to get entangled into this mess again and how he's going to fight you know like and that's another thing that really impresses me about this route like in the previous like in the other two routes shiro was strong you know shiro was strong but that's not because he himself was strong his servants his servants were strong but in this route he himself becomes strong and he like attains the power comparable to a servant and that is another thing that really impressed me about this route and uh, <clears throat> yeah and um let's see and another thing is like ilya really becomes an ally in this you know route as well but unfortunately bad things happen again which like it's a shame i i really cannot remember uh, at the end of fate route i cannot remember because the fate route does not have an anime and, I've, and played the novel for quite a long while ago i cannot remember if ilia survives or not in that route and in and obviously in the unlimited blade works route Il, ilia does not survive Mm, but like you know she was kind of a uh, like enemy for shiro at that moment not an enemy as far as per se but kind of but in this route she really becomes an ally but she still like like has the same fate which is really sad because you know like like there's like the few characters who like dies like on all of the routes like lancer <laughs> that's with the whole like you know meme lancer gachinda you know like in every route lancer dies and <laughs> in bad ways you know so yeah like lancer like ilia like the unfortunate characters like that's why like i really appreciate for the so many like spin offs of fate uh you know like so many spin offs so many alternative routes like alternative parallel universes i'm so glad because like in like in those like you know in those alternative parallel universes uh, there's a lot of uh, like you know uh, routes where Ilya is alive, well, and healthy. Uh, especially <laughs> in um, what was that? Uh, Fate, uh, Kaleid, uh, Liner, Prisma, Ilya. That one. She's the, basically the main character of that series. So, like, I'm, I'm really like, I really, I'm really glad about those routes. Uh, not routes, but those parallel like universes where like everyone is so happy because like a lot of like characters are so sad and unfortunate in this like uh, in Fate. So thankfully at least in one world or one universe they are happy. <laughs> and yeah and um and the thing with berserker now uh, as far as i can remember uh the th whole thing like if the people who have like watched this for the first time they'll be confused at that scene as well where berserker was dying and like regenerating and dying and regenerating and dying and regenerating um as far as i can remember berserker's um noble phantasm 
is uh re not rebirth but uh yeah kind of like he has i think 12 lives uh 12 wasn't it or am i mistaken <clears throat> just a sec um i'm checking one thing um yeah i think it was 12 because the real name of berserker is heracles uh, heracles and his 12 labors so as far as i can remember he had 12 lives so like you know killing him once like i think this was uh, like kind of explained in uh, unlimited blade works but they did not explain it in this route i think but anyways um like those 12 labors uh like those grants him like an extra life so like in in like in fate grand order like fgo like uh, heracle has this one kind of a craft essence which gives him gut skill gut skills mean like even if you die you're going to come back like uh like a lot of gut skill like even if he dies he comes back again and again and again so it's kind of like that funny thing so yeah like that is like uh, heracle's like noble phantasm like um coming back to life even after his heart is like crushed and everything uh, and like i think that's why like he was coming back like you know time by, by time but obviously like salter or saber alter she is too damn strong she is too damn strong and yeah she, she just wiped the floor with heracles and nothing you can do about that because like uh, saber alter is like a completely different entity and yeah um <laughs> And another thing that they showed in this, um, what do you call it, uh, this movie, is uh, like in the end, like where Sakura kind of orders Ryder, you know, like that really helps out a lot in the next movie, or, uh, especially in the next movie, that really helps out because uh, you're going to see like what happens. And... Yeah, like this is what I really love about Fate. Like the roots are not just same copy paste root. Like so different they are. Like especially the endings and the way like each root end, and how like different they are from each other. Mm, and that's really amazing. And also another thing that this uh, like the Fate series can do really well is the atmosphere. Like you know when the like the creepy the like weird atmosphere the like uh the soundtrack and all the background music and everything uh that is something else like you know and yeah <clears throat> okay what else was in this yeah that was it now in my opinion i don't know like uh, the whole thing with the savior of uh, like you know becoming the hero of justice and everything um like archer like very much despises it like as we know and i've seen a lot of people also kind of not like that I I'm, I'm talking about a lot of audiences like a lot of people who watch this uh watch the fake say night now a lot of people kind of do not like shiro because of his you know like uh hero of justice mentality for me i really do not care that much you know because it's all well and good as i said like it's all well and good he wants to become a hero of justice he can become that but like you know um him also choosing a different path in this like route in sakura's route is also something that i really do not like think much about like it's his like you know his decision his path he can do whatever the hell he wants to um so yeah like i am really not bothered about that thing and as i said like in the end in the end of unlimited blade work suit shiro somehow manages to you know like go through his like you know um like go along with his words along with his uh, like conviction of becoming a hero of justice he kind of like you know is able to fulfill that in a way but in this route he cannot do that because like sakura is like the enemy of humanity kind of so if he tries to become a hero of justice he has to go against sakura which he is not going to do so he has he himself has to become an ally of sakura which will kind of make him not an enemy of humanity but kind of make him not go towards the direction of saving everyone or you know he has to like focus on like only saving one person 
so in the, in the unlimited blade works route uh, like um archer like archer by the end of it also like kind of gives up <laughs> you know he says that oh my god this guy is so stubborn i cannot do anything and in the end like archer kind of says like asks rin to look after shiro because like if there's no one to look after him he will become the archer that he is now so that's why like he's like in the end he says that look after my younger self you know so that he does not become like me <laughs> oh god and uh, by the end of it like everything is all okay and um, but in this route i'm also like as i said like i i this is kind of something different and like it's like you are like focusing on only one thing you know and i'm i'm completely fine with that as well and yeah i really hope they make a remake of the fate route that is sabers route because um like uh like you know what's like like in in my not in my opinion like at least for me like i've played the novel so long ago i've forgotten each and everything most uh, like most of the parts and the unlimited blade works after watching the anime everything got like refreshed and i know everything about it same with the heaven's full route that's going to happen i'm like watching it again and i'll be reminded of each and everything and everything will be refreshed in my memory as well but i really cannot remember most of the things that happen in the fate route so i really hope that they redo the fate route as well in like a ufo table animates it and they can either make a movie like this you know like three parts or they can like make an anime i i prefer the anime more because you know like uh, making three movies will take a long time for example i think this uh, like the heaven's field route started airing during 2015 or something but it it took almost like 6 years for everything to be completed but if they make an anime that will be a lot more quicker so I really hope they make um, like you know uh, some like a remake of the Fate route as well, and that is Saber's route. And I'm I'm sure they they'll definitely make something uh, like they're doing like I think they're like kind of uh, like the Fate franchise is kind of like preoccupied with um, what do you call it a Fate Grand Order now with uh, Camelot coming out and Solomon will also come out. So like uh, i'm not sure if they're going to like you know uh, focus on that like fate gandrauder or they're going to do something with the original fate route that is saber's route uh, but i really hope they do do this you know do the fate route and i also like i'm really like looking forward to a lot of uh, like projects more projects future projects from the fate franchise that is i really want uh, what what's that name um, fate strange fake I really want that and I as far as I know uh, the author said that when they finish the light novel after that they'll think about animating it not now the author wants to end the light novel and I really want to see Gilgamesh and Enkidu being like the you know the main <laughs> main servants like like as I said before Gilgamesh is my most favorite like male servant and uh, which like you know uh was not the case i hated gilgamesh when i fate, played the visual novel and saw fate stay night every, and everything but after fate granddaughter gilgamesh really changed my perspective on him <laughs> i used to like you know put gilgamesh in the same slot as shinji now i can realize how much of a fool i am <laughs> you know like gilgamesh and shinji oh like it's like you're comparing a bug to a literal king you know so yeah i'm sorry gilgamesh i i put you in the same category as shinji i'm sorry but i respect you so much now <laughs> so yeah and <clears throat> yeah and I, i'm glad i'm glad shinji won't be back I'm, I'm glad i'm really glad shinji won't be back we won't have to see his freaking face in the next movie like whenever his section comes i i i, I cringed so hard and i really hated him like like you know like thank god we won't have to tolerate him in the next movie <laughs> i'm sorry if i'm hating too much on shinji but yeah and uh, excuse me yeah that was it that was this movie and um <clears throat> i'm really glad that like ufo table is animating this as anime has animated this and Imer is like singing the songs and the soundtrack and all and it's so good I'm, I'm i'm so happy that i can see like this 
being animated and it's it's done so well like you know the uh, the joy you feel when you see um one of your favorite series being animated so well and so amazingly the amount of joy you feel like yeah like they really took care and did it like so well like that's something else because i've seen a lot of uh, you know anime being butchered completely butchered and killed even if even though the manga or the visual novel was so damn amazing they were like literally killed in front of my eyes whenever i saw them like being adapted so i'm really glad that if, if at least fate stay night like did it properly so yeah and yeah like i'm happy i'm really happy and i'm, I'm looking forward to the next episode next episode will be some uh, not, not episode next movie next movie will be something out of this world and yeah i i can I, i think i can remember a few things that are going to happen and i'm so excited for the next movie like oh my god so yeah thank you guys for watching this was fate stay night heaven's feel um movie 2 uh this is called lost butterfly and the next one uh, is called spring song uh fate heavens uh, feel 3 uh, spring song so yeah that will be uh, my uh, next week i'll do that so be sure to tune in at that moment as well so yeah as, as i said thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys oh um, if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share and um yeah like uh, just comment down below i'll check them all out so excuse me um so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys next week with the last movie of uh, fate stay night heaven's feel and uh, movie 3 that is spring song so until then goodbye and have a nice day